It's definitely an acknowledgement of how corporate greed has taken advantage of the poor once again. Uh, we seen how the corporate America was in financial trouble and how quick this country uh, ran to their rescues. Well, today there are millions of people that are losing their homes and we have not seen that same return by uh, the Bush administration nor by the Barack or, uh, Obama uh, administration. Uh, I believe that the numbers here will increase and that before it's all said and done, uh, this could be uh, the start of the next revolution uh, because we are very well looking at uh, conditions that are so frightful. Uh, here in this country, we have 2.3 people, uh, 2.3 million people uh, that are incarcerated uh, roughly each and every day somewhere around uh, this country. Uh, we have approximately 500 people released out of prisons. These people cannot get jobs. People who work very hard and go throughout the entire uh, educational process of college can't even get jobs. One time I heard the figure that we're 5% of the population, but we have 25% of the worldwide prisoners, and that's how much we believe in jails. You're absolutely right. Uh, everything about America is crumbling, and it's crumbling because it was founded upon lies. Uh, we went through the prison industrial complex up under the Ronald Reagan administration, where that we saw a heavy increase of prisons. Today, those prisons are closing because the government is saying that it has no money to fund them. Uh, what we're finding is that many men are finding themselves placed inside of prisons when they should be given substance abuse treatment. Uh, Let's talk about corporate greed, because we said that that's a, that's a barometer of how things are not working. But what is the roots of corporate greed? And, and are, are, are we just saying that a certain sector of humanity is a, a bad blood, or, or uh, are they just playing a game that uh, doesn't have very good ends to it? Or uh, are they playing with a risk factor? Because when you look at the banks and the markets, it seems like they're gamblers, and they're gambling with the liquidity of the country, which in a way they're gambling with my job and my, and my community and my family, and uh, but these are our institutions. And is it their fault, or is it just the fact that the institutions somehow are not formulated correctly for our objectives? Well, I think that you best described it when you said, were corporate America gambling? Yes, they are. They gambled, they lost. Uh, they did not just lose one time, but they lost several times. And each time that they gambled and they lost, they were bailed out. And uh, we know that maybe they'll lose another time, because well, how do we know that? Uh, I mean, uh, there's no guarantee that, uh, that they're on the right track. Because uh, it seems to me that the message uh, that we're out here trying to say is that uh, our institutions are, in a way, broken. And that our, uh, our theories, economic theories, are flawed. And somehow, let's get at the, uh, I suppose we have to get on the uh, 2012 platform and discuss all this stuff. And in a way, when you say discussion, it sounds like, uh, oh yeah, they're going to just get into rhetoric. They're going to delay it some more. Let's, we want action. Let's get to the issues. Let's have good, quick slogans. And uh, But anyhow, uh, what works in this country is consensus. And until we have an open dialogue that builds a consensus, uh, if it's just the reds against the blues, and then it goes the other way, and then the other way, and the other way, a fic, uh, quick uh, series of reversals, whatever good programs are, uh, are uh, initiated, then they're undone the next time. Uh, uh, we've seen so much of that. We don't want to see that anymore, do we? No, definitely we do not want to see what is called musical cheers. Uh, we have went through a musical cheer system for, I would say, the last 15 years here in this country. Going through that system has led to millions of people being laid off of their jobs, whole companies, at least the smaller versions of these companies, uh, collapsing, uh, American people uh, suffering at an all-time high. 
uh, I think that we're dealing with a homeless population that is completely out of control and this government has not a clue or idea as to how to help these people. Uh, and the, one of the reasons is because uh, they are the ones that are stealing this money. Uh, the corporations are. Uh, we see where that this country is being funded and ran off of the back of the poor.